Back in 2011, Birmingham City saw themselves defeat Arsenal in the Carling Cup final to lift the trophy. This then saw them playing Europa League football whilst being in the Championship. Fast forward to 2023 and Birmingham City have new American owners, with Tom Wagner as the front man and Wayne Rooney coming in as the new manager. But come to the end of the season and Birmingham City were relegated to League One. Birmingham then smashed the League One transfer fee record as Jay Stansfield joined the club on a permanent deal for £15 million. Birmingham City are now sitting at the top of the League One table and in today's video our goal is to get them back to the Premier League whilst also trying to win as many trophies along the way as possible including the Champions League and also the Premier League title. So without further ado we're going to dive straight into this Birmingham City rebuild. I'm really excited for this one because it's going to be a long one. We are starting in League One and we have to try and get ourselves all the way back up to the Premiership. Make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you're new around here guys and without further ado we will dive into Season 1 with Birmingham. So guys we are here at season one with Birmingham City. And as you can see, guys, we're going to go with the counter-attack tactical preset for this rebuild. I will be playing a 4-4-1-1 formation. This is the default one for Birmingham City, and I think we've got a decent little squad, as you can see. I'm probably not going to make any transfers in the first season. We're just going to play with the squad that we've got. Because looking at some of these ratings, this is way better than a League One side. So I will actually keep the team as it is, in the hopes that we can get promoted back to the Championship within Season 1, which would actually be really, really good for us. That's going to be your lineup for Season 1, like I said. I'm really happy with that. I don't think we need to make any improvements. Like I said, it's a League One side. This is more of a championship squad. Without further ado, we're actually going to just dive straight into Season 1, guys. No transfers in Season 1. Straight into it with this team. I really do think we can get promoted straight away back into the championship, which is obviously what we want to do as soon as possible. So, let's get in to Season 1 with Birmingham. So, we've come to the end of Season 1, guys. And as you can see, Birmingham City have been promoted to the championship. We finished on 99 points. 29 wins, 12 draws, and only 5 losses throughout the whole season. I'm really happy of this squad and they've managed to get the goal of season one which was to be promoted but they only went and won the league so amazing stuff there first trophy of this Birmingham City rebuild and it's come in season one which is really good to see like I said before the squad was definitely better than a league one side and we have proved it there by getting promoted unfortunately guys we got knocked out by Bromley in the FA Cup in the second round so we didn't do anything in terms of the FA Cup this season Carabao Cup time second round we actually beat Huddersfield 3-0 to progress to the first round unfortunately guys we got absolutely battered by wolves 4-0 so we do get knocked out in the third round of the carabao cup crystal street motors trophy we actually topped the group to go through now i'm not sure if someone could let me know is this basically the equivalent of the johnson's pate trophy i've never actually seen this competition before so i'm a bit confused i actually don't know what it is if anyone knows could they let me know in the comments below we then beat burton albion 3-2 on penalties to progress into the third round we then beat bristol rovers 2-1 at home to secure a quarter final final place and we beat Stevenage 3-0 away from home absolutely insane result there away from home which puts us into the semi-finals we beat Barrow 2-0 which means we go into the final of the Bristol Street Motors Trophy and we'll be facing Charlton Athletic and we only went and won it didn't we 2-0 the EFL trophy so it's the EFL trophy that's what the trophy is the EFL trophy is ours Birmingham City have won 2-0 against Charlton so that means we did the cup double this season we won the league and we won the EFL trophy as well which is amazing to see in the first season little run through of the European competitions this season. Madrid beating Juventus 3-1. Spurs beating Roma 4-2 to win the Europa League. And Fiorentina beat Real Betis to win the Conference League 2-1. So I just wanted to go over the stats for the end of season one because obviously there's a lot of games and there was a lot of goals. Williamson scored 33 goals and 12 assists from the central attacking midfield role. Alfie May scored 27 goals and 5 assists. He is actually one of the strikers at the club. I think he played ahead of Stansfield which is a bit annoying but He's obviously helped us get promoted. Tsiong Ho, central midfielder, 16 goals and 7 assists. Really happy with those returns. Anson, the left midfielder, 12 goals, 7 assists. And we've got a bunch of players like Wright, our right midfielder, 8 goals, 4 assists. And we've got a lot of players just getting in on the goals across the season, which is always good to see. There we have it, guys. We finished Season 1 winning the League 1 title and winning the EFL trophy as well. So we did the cup double within Season 1, which is amazing news for this Birmingham team. But now we do face the difficult task of the championship second season with this rebuild it's gonna be the first time we will be in the championship i think we're gonna to have to make a fair few signings to bolster the squad and improve it if we want to try and get promoted to the premier league without further ado that is the end of season one we're gonna dive straight into the 
transfer window in season two and see if we can improve this squad ahead of a big season in the championship. So the budget is now 20 million to spend in the championship. I think that's a really good budget to have. I feel like we can sign at least two really good players with that much. I'm going to dive straight into the transfer window in season two. The first signing of this Birmingham City rebuild has come in Season 2. We've signed the new holder midfielder from the Premier League. It is Tyler Morton from Liverpool for £7 million. I was looking at the ratings and ages of the players we had in central midfield now. They were fairly old and I looked at Morton who's 22 years of age and he's 74 overall already. So I think he's going to be a really good addition for that midfield. We have made our second signing, guys, and this is going to be a really good talent for the future. Really excited for this player to join Birmingham City. I think he's going to be a really good asset for us in the seasons to come. It is the 19-year-old from Manchester City, Joel Ndala, for £2.9 million. 19 years of age, he's 68 overall, £2.9 million spent, 90 pace. He's been playing on the left-hand side for us. Really good addition. I think he's going to be a really good gem in the future if he gets the game time that he needs to develop. But he is the second signing of this Birmingham City rebuild. And the final signing of season two, the first season of the championship, we have decided to go out and get a new right winger or right midfielder. It is the youngster from Liverpool, Ben Doak, for £3.5 million. He will be coming in to play right midfield, £3.5 million spent, 68 overall, 90 pace. So we've got a lot of pace on the wings now, on the left-hand side and the right-hand side. Doak is the final signing of Season 2 with Birmingham. I really think he's going to be a good addition for us. 68 overall, like I said. I think he's going to be a player that we can definitely develop and turn into an absolutely insane player once we do get a fair few seasons into this rebuild. So then, guys, this will be your team for Season 2. I have changed the formation here we have gone for a 4-3-3 attack i really want to utilize ben doke and andala out on the wing so i've pushed them further forward than playing left mid and right mid so we've also brought in morton into the side from that the team is unchanged with andala and doke coming in and the wings dancefield up top i think that front three is gonna be really really good they're all youngsters Stansfield is age 22, Ben Doak and Ndala are both 19. I really do think we've got a good chance to try and get ourselves in the playoffs this season. So without further ado, no messing around, we're going to dive straight into Season 2. Hopefully try and get ourselves into that Premier League. We've come to the end of Season 2, guys. And as you can see, Birmingham City finished 7th in the Championship table. And if you look at the table, we're one point away from Millwall. And we just missed out on the playoffs. That is so heartbreaking. One point away from the playoffs. Ipswich and Southampton being promoted. Absolutely smart smashing it in the championship this season we started the fa cup run in the third round we beat crawley 2-1 at home to progress into the fourth round of the fa cup we then beat premier league side leeds 3-2 at home which sees us go into the fifth round of the fa cup and then unfortunately guys we did get knocked out by liverpool but we did manage to score three goals against liverpool we lost 4-3 in the fifth round of the fa cup Carabao Cup time, guys. We won 3-1 on penalties after a 1-0 draw of Leighton Orient in the second round. And we won on penalties again, beating Cardiff 4-3 on penalties after a 2-2 draw to go into round four. And then, unfortunately, guys, Leicester City beat us 4-0 at home, which means we crash out in the fourth round of the Carabao Cup. Sheffield United did get to the final against Millwall and they beat them 2-1 to get promoted to the Premiership. Real Madrid beat Milan 3-1 to win the Champions League. Lazio beat Club Bruges to win the Europa League in Season 2. And Chelsea beat Rapid VN 3-2 to win the Conference League. These are the stats for the end of the season and you can see Stansfield was the top goal scorer for us this season. 36 goals which is absolutely insane return. 23 year old is getting a lot more game time this season. Williamson, May, Dykes all getting in the goals. Ben Doak and Ndala both getting in on the goals this season. Obviously their first season at the club. Both now 20 years of age. They're going up the ratings now. Ben Doak up to a 72 and Ndala up to a 71. Tyler Morton actually getting three goals and nine assists from central midfield, which is really nice to see. So overall, unfortunately, we just missed out by one point in the playoff places. But we've had a really good start to life back into the championship. I'm really happy with seventh place. But hopefully next season, after this season, we've had a really good start. I think we can try and get a couple of more signings to then push to get into that playoff place so without further ado guys let's dive straight to season three we start season three with a couple of outgoings for birmingham city Lyndon dyked alfie may leonard and bielek have all gone out just trying to raise some funds to sign some new players these guys weren't really playing for us that much i mean alfie may and dykes were getting in on the goals they are now like 32 33 coming to the end of their contract so i thought i decided to cash
cash out while I could on them. So that gives us a few million to spend. We've got around 15 million pounds to spend this season. I'm looking to try and get maybe a new centre back and maybe a backup striker now. I'm going to go do some scouting now and see if we can sign in season three. We made our first signing of season three, guys, and I've decided to go out and get a new centre back for Birmingham City. We've gone to Germany and we've signed Kulubali from Borussia Dortmund for 9.2 million pounds. Kulubali comes in for 9.3. I think he's going to be a really good addition to the team. 22 years of age, 86 pace at the back. He's already a 75 overall. Comes in as the youngster, going into that centre-back role. Final signing of season three is here, guys. I've actually gone out and got a free agent. Obviously, with the sales of Dykes and May, we didn't actually have a backup striker for Stansfield, so I've gone out and got a new striker. Janis Becker is coming in, the German striker. He's only 19 years of age. He will be the backup to Stansfield. I think this is one to grow throughout the years as a rotational option. He's only 19, 66 overall. I think you were just going to try and develop him into a world-class player. But for now, he will be just a backup to Stansfield. That concludes the season three transfer window. I'm really liking the look of this team. It's shaping up quite well. Peacock Fowler in goal. Obviously, Kulabali comes in, the new centre-back. To play with Clara. Morton in the middle, 76 overall already. And we have Stansfield. And Dala and Doak as the front three still really impressed with the way these guys are developing already with us. Without further ado, guys, we're going to dive into season three now. We're hoping we can try and get a playoff place this time round and see ourselves get promoted to the Premier League. Without further ado, guys, let's dive in to season three. So then, guys, the end of season three is here. A Birmingham City have finished sixth. That means we have finished in the playoff places this season. It's really good. 79 points. It was a really close end to the season as you can see only a couple of points ahead of Middlesbrough we finally got to the playoffs this season we were just one point away last season hopefully we can progress into the final and get to the Premier League we will obviously face Burnley because they finished third in the league Forest and Bournemouth going up with I mean just look at that they, they the, these Prem teams come down and they just go straight back up round three of the FA Cup we did win 1-0 against Watford then Chelsea beat us 2-0 unfortunately to put us out of the FA Cup in the fourth round the Everton 3-1 in the second round of the Carabao Cup 3-1 away from home and then unfortunately guys Manchester City beat us 3-1 at home knock us out in the third round of the Carabao Cup Chelsea Chelsea beat Real Madrid 3-1 to win the Champions League in Season 3. AC Milan beat Napoli in an all-Italian final to win the Europa League. And Rapid did win 3-2 on penalties after a 2 all draw. And they won the Conference League this season. And we beat Burnley 6-4 on aggregate. What a game that was. 4-3 in the second leg. That means we will play Leeds United in the Championship Playoff Final. And we done it. We won 4-3 again. Back-to-back 4-3 -back wins there. We've beaten Leeds and we have been promoted to the championship which is absolutely amazing and we've been promoted to the premier league which is absolutely amazing guys in our third season we've already had two promotions already which is really good i'm really buzzing because that means we are premier league once again birmingham city in the premier league next season obviously we've got a lot of transfers to hopefully try and make i'm hoping in next season they give us a lot of money because we're going to need a lot of new players at this club if we want to try and stay in the premier league so then guys these are the stats for the season williamson 33 goals from center attack amid he got the goal scorer he was the top goal scorer for the season stansfield 26 goals 10 assists really happy of that return becker the youngster that we did sign on a free got 11 goals this season which is really good to see i didn't think he was going to get that much game time but he actually ended up scoring 11 goals ben doke with nine goals six assists really happy with the way he's progressing as well and darla the same happy with how he's progressing jackson brewer he is 17 years old he was obviously 16 when he joined because he was from our youth academy he got three goals two of them actually came from the championship playoffs so that's actually really good his goals helped us get to the premier league he would definitely be one to look out for might send him out on loan next season to try and get some more first team game time because at the moment Endoke is absolutely smashing it so there we have it guys we have been promoted to the premier league after winning the championship playoff final really buzzing for the premier league now we're going to dive into season four and see if we can try and stay in the premier league so we're into season four guys and as you can see we've got 48 million pounds to spend in season four first season in the Premier League so we do need to use all the funds we have available to try and bolster this squad obviously really improving with the team already in the first couple of seasons but obviously now in the Premier League and we need to get some better players so I'm going to go out do some scouting and try and upgrade the team and hopefully we can try and challenge to stay in the Premier League we made a new signing guys it's going to be a new holder midfielder to play with Tyler Morton we've gone to the Serie A to get this Italian gem Agioli comes in for 34.5 million pounds the biggest transfer fee 
we've had already in this rebuild, which is really good. Tyler Morton and him are going to be the central midfielders for this season. 34.5 million pounds spent on Fagoli. Morton as well in the middle. So those two look really good together. That's the first signing of season four. So guys, we actually have spent quite a lot of the money. We only have about 8 million pounds left in the bank. So I'm actually going to just leave Fagoli as the only signing for season four. The first season in the Premier League. This team is actually really turned out. This team has actually turned out really well and I really like the look of it. I honestly think this team can stay up in the Premier League for one season. I really do. So Fagoli comes into the middle with Morton, Stansfield, and Dala and Doak. Hopefully they can carry us to survival in the Premier League. So we're just going to dive straight into season four, guys. In the first season back in the Premier League for Birmingham City. Without further ado, season four is here. Hopefully we can just stay up and then we can carry on rebuilding in season five. So without further ado, dive into season four. Okay then, guys, we got to the end of season four. And Birmingham have finished 16th in the Premier League. 41 points we ended on. And I mean, look at the state of that. We nearly got relegated. Bristol Palace, Everton and Fulham getting relegated there. Just got out by the skin of our teeth. 41 points. Palace on 36. Actually scored quite a lot of goals, but we conceded so many goals as well. The only team around us, apart from Southampton, had a similar goal difference. But I mean, look at the state of that. Our attack was so good, but I mean, our defence must have been terrible. I need to get a new goalkeeper. I think that's what we need to do. Anyway, guys, enough rambling. Man City won the lead. Chelsea, Leicester as well. Wow, Leicester City in third. Brighton in fourth. That is your top four. FA Cup, and we got knocked out in the third round by Bournemouth. Three, two away from home. So our FA Cup run comes to a close early doors and the same happened in the Carabao Cup this time in the second round we got knocked out by Fulham 2-0 away from home so that means no trophies in season one we barely stayed in the Premier League so I don't even know why I'm even thinking about trophies but fortunately no cup run for us in season four and we'll go through the European competitions here Leipzig beat Chelsea to lift the Champions League trophy West Ham beat Rapid 2-1 to win the Europa League and then Atalanta beat Fenerbahce 1-0 to win the Conference League in season four so then guys these are the stats for the end of the season stands field ended on 23 goals 10 assists which you know what is actually a really good return for considering we finished 16th in the league then Doe getting 11 goals Williamson 10 our youth player getting eight goals this season really interested in that 18 years old I know he's very low rated he is definitely one for the future as he has come all the way through the youth academy he's only 18 years of age Becca the striker that we did sign on a free he's got five goals and five assists this season and then a bunch of other players just getting goals here and there so I mean it's a really bad season but we've somehow managed to just stay up in the Premier league i honestly thought we we're gonna get relegated at that point i honestly thought we were gonna have a decent start to life in the premier league but obviously not we just about saved ourselves in the premier league so season five we're gonna have to really think about how we're gonna do this we do need to improve the team massively i think my plan is i'm gonna try and upgrade the defense and the goalkeeper next season because conceded 70 plus goals even though we were scoring quite a lot we conceded so many i am gonna be upgrading the defense and the goalkeeper i think for next season so without further ado guys we're gonna dive straight into season five and the second season in the Premier League with Birmingham. So then guys, season five is here and we have decided to go out and get a new goalkeeper. I think we really need to bolster our defence because obviously last season we really struggled in the league, nearly got relegated. So I've gone out and got a new goalkeeper. Mantella has come in from Lille for £21.2 million. Pounds. 82 overall, 28 years old. He's going to be an upgrade on Peacock Farrell, that's for sure. We've only got a little bit left in the budget, guys. So I think I'm only going to be able to go out and get a younger centre-back, which is okay because they might be good enough to play. I'm going to do some scouting and try and get another, at least another player or two. We brought in a new centre back, guys, a six foot two Welsh brute from the Premier League. He has joined for £4.4 million from Southampton. Tony Andrews, the 20 year old, 74 overall, £4.4 million spent. Like I said, six foot two, 20 years of age. I think he's been a really good player. I think he's going to be a really good player for us in the future. He actually might go straight into the starting 11, to be honest with you. He looks really good. We didn't have much money, so I had to go out and get some younger players, and he is one of them. So hopefully, we can turn him into an absolute beast. Decided to go out and get a new left back. I think we need to get in some younger players. I'll be there with the centre back role. Obviously, the goalkeeper we have upgraded as well. Our defence last year was very, very leaky. So we've gone and got a new left back as well. Luca Fontana has come in from Southampton for £8.9 million. Pounds, 75 overall and he's already 20 years of age. 83 pace. Really like the look of him. I think he's going to be a great addition to the team. Obviously, I've gone out and got a couple of youngsters for the defence. I really think in the seasons to come, they're going to be really, really good for us. So guys, this will be your team for season five. We've obviously gone and got a new goalkeeper, a new centre back, a new left back as well. And the rest of the team stays as it is. Obviously, last season we didn't do too bad. Obviously, last season we had a really 
really bad season. Obviously, this season, I really want to try and improve on that. Bringing in a couple of youngsters and a well-experienced goalkeeper, I think, will help us in the long run. Obviously, we've got a long season ahead of us. We might have to start thinking about selling on some other players in the coming seasons to raise some more funds for the team. But for now, this is what we're left with. This is the squad. I really hope we can try and stay up in the Premier League again. I think it's going to take a good two or three seasons before we start getting up the table, like mid-table. Then when we push on to try and get European success and win the league, I think we'll be in like, you know, season eight before we even think about trying to get top four. And now we are at where we are. And this is the team to take us into season five. I'm hoping we can just stay in the Premier League, guys. Without further ado, let's dive in to season five. So then, guys, we've gone to the end of season five. And as you can see, Birmingham City have finished 14th in the Premier League. Slight improvement from last season, but we are still floating around that relegation zone. 41 points. Burnley, Forest, Sheffield United going down. We were, well, we were really close again, guys. So I know we improved up the table by like two positions, but overall, we're still not there yet. Like I did say in the previous, like I said before, I think it's just going to be more of a project in terms of the, how this team's going to develop. We're not going to be flying up the table and finishing in the top 10 every season. It's going to take at least another two seasons for us to get in the top 10, I think. Aston Villa actually turned out to be the winners of the Premier League this season. City, Arsenal, Liverpool, all in the top four as well. Really close title race. But Aston Villa peeled away with 10 points, with a 10-point gap in the end. We beat Nottingham Forest 3-2 in the FA Cup third round to progress. I think... The FA Cup fourth round is probably the furthest we've been so far. And we beat Bristol Rovers 1-0 to go into the round to go into round five of the FA Cup. And then we beat Luton Town 3-2 away from home, which means we're into the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. Oh, and unfortunately, guys, Bristol City beat us on penalties after a 2-2 draw. So we get knocked out in the quarterfinals. And Manchester United ended up winning against Arsenal 2-1 to lift the FA Cup. We beat Bradford 3. We beat Bradford 2-1 in the Carabao Cup second round to progress into the third round. And then Oxford United beat us 3-1 on penalties after one all draw so we are out of the Carabao Cup as well so no trophy for us once again in season five which is uh, okay because we're obviously struggling in the league so I think like I said before it's gonna be a long time before we get any type of trophy I think at least two or three seasons more. Inter Milan won the Champions League 5-4 on penalties after a one all draw with Chelsea. Juventus won the Europa League after an all Italian final 2-1 and Celta Vigo won the Europa Conference League 2-0 to lift that in season five. So we're gonna go over the stats that's once again, Williamson, the captain, 20 goals, 10 assists from center attacker mid. He's now an 82 overall, age 30. So I may look to sell him to try and get a lot of money for him. I think he'd actually quite, I think he'd actually be quite valuable. So I reckon we try and sell him and get someone younger who's better. Could potentially be something to do next season. Stansfield, 15 goals, 6 assists, 80 overall now, 26 years of age. He's developing really, really well for us. Ben Doak, 79 overall now, 9 goals, 3 assists this season for him. And Dala, 9 goals, 2 assists, 77 overall now. Both of them are really starting to progress they're climbing up the ratings which is good to see becker the youngster that we signed on a free is still getting goals for us and our academy player getting two goals this season in the prem 60 overall still he's getting a bit of game time this season but again not that much so that is the end of season five guys i hope we can try and improve once again next season we're slowly climbing up the table you know last season 16th this season 14th so there is improvement to be made obviously we want to try and sign a few more players we just need to try and raise some funds which has been the difficult part we're not really getting that much money. I'm only only going out and spending big transfer fee on one player. So if we could try and find some ways to get more money, that'd be great. But without further ado, we're going to dive straight into Season 6 with Birmingham. We are starting off Season 5, guys, with a brand new signing. It's going to be a central attacking midfielder. Mari Kellerman comes in. £11 million from Chelsea. He will be replacing Williamson, who I did sell to Newcastle for £30 million. He comes in to replace him. 23 years of age. £11 million spent i think it's a really good pickup because it's obviously quite a cheap deal and he's only 23 77 overall we're playing center attack and mid for us really happy with this pickup we've made our next signing guys it is going to be a new right back we tried to get one last season but we just didn't have enough funds to do that louis gray comes in from leicester city for 13 million pounds he will be slotting straight in at right back 21 years of age 85 pace 13 million pounds spent 77 overall like i said i think he's gonna be a good addition to the squad obviously now we've got another backup option but he will be starting for us hopefully he can provide some defensive cover obviously you know last couple of seasons in the premier league we've been conceding a lot of goals i'm trying to improve the defensive as much as i can 
man. We have a new centre back coming into the club. Obviously, like I said just before, we're trying to improve the defence as much as we can because the last couple of seasons has just been not good. But Logan Payne comes in from Brentford for six point four million pounds because he's only nineteen, seventy four overall. I think for now he's just going to be a backup option, but we just needed a couple more central defenders as cover. So he comes in for six point four million pounds. Okay, then guys, the end of the transfer window is here, guys, and season six is upon us. Obviously, we've been conceding a lot of goals in the past couple of seasons guys so i've tried to improve the team as much as i can with limited funds it's quite hard to try and go out and get the better players right now i'm trying to invest in the youth and bring them up and try and develop them so they're really good players in the future i think this is going to take a couple of more seasons to try and get the team to where it needs to be which is obviously we want to try and get as many trophies as we can but for now we are just trying to stay in the premier league as much as we can the last two seasons have been pretty rough for us but with new additions gray comes in hellman comes in as well at cam and Payne drops the obviously starts on the bench i really do like the attack obviously they're developing quite well i'm just hoping that we can just try and get a few more goals and a few more points this season so we can try and stay up and we want to try and start aiming towards that 10th position i think we've got like i said in the previous season we've got a couple more years i think before we start really pushing up the table so it's another season in the premier league the third one is here hopefully we can just stay in the league again and try and climb up the table as much as we can without further ado let's get into season six okay then guys we've come to the end of season six Six and Birmingham have finished 16th in the Premier League. Once again, we are fighting relegation and we've only just about stayed up again. I'm not really sure what to say, guys. To be honest, I'm trying to build a team around younger players. I and mean, it's just going to take time. I, I think it's just going to take time to get up in the in the Premier League. But now we just have to suffer and nearly get relegated. But I mean, it's a slight improvement, but then it's not because we're still down in 16th on 40 points. Nevertheless, guys, that is the... But nevertheless, guys, that is where we finish for the season. I think it's slow slowly improving i just not too sure we might have to figure out what we do with the squad if we have to sell players or try and get more money to be able to sign better players city newcastle united chelsea top four man city won in the league this season round three of the fa cup we knocked out cardiff 4-2 then we beat swansea 4-2 in the fourth round oh and then we just lost out against brighton 4-3 get knocked out in the fifth round carabao cup time and we beat fleetwood on penalties 3-2 after a 2-2 draw and then we unfortunately lost to arsenal in the third round so we again not really Really having much cup luck in terms of the Carabao Cup and the FA Cup. Bayern Munich beat PSG on penalties to win the Champions League this season. Atletico Madrid just beat Man United 3-2 to lift the Europa League this season. And Lazio beat Atletico Bilbao to win the Conference League 2-1. Here are the stats of the season. Stansfield on 19 goals and Dala on 19 goals. Big improvement for him this season. Ben Doak, 8 goals, 3 assists. Unfortunately, he looks like he's injured at the moment. I don't know. Obviously, he still played 43 games. Tyler Morton, now 8 84 overall, 7 goals, 10 assists. Really happy with that. Hellerman, 4 goals, 4 assists on his first season with us. Not the best of returns. But yeah, overall, guys, we're just kind of flatlining right now. We're not really improving much, but we're also not going down. We're not getting relegated. So I, I just need to just stick with it. And hopefully next season, we can try and sign a couple more gems, a couple more better players to improve the squad. And then we can try and find the table. So without further ado, we're going to dive in the season 7 now with Birmingham. I really do think this is going to be like a 10 or 12 season re build with Birmingham because it's going to take a while to get a good squad because obviously we're lacking money to sign the big and better players but that is not an issue right now because we're trying to stay up and we're doing so so we're going to dive into season seven now and hopefully we can start off by signing some better players so then guys the end of the transfer window for season seven is complete as you can see we, a couple of players have left the club Peacock Farrell Cochran have left the club generating a good chunk of money there that we did end up using on two new players Fisher has joined a young 20 year old goalkeeper 83 overall 26.5 million pounds also we sold Peacock Farrell who was our backup keeper so I needed to bring in a new keeper but Fisher's probably actually going to start for us because he looks really really good and like I said he's only 20 years old and Gustavo Nunes from Brentford for 28.4 million pounds he'll be starting left wing for us ahead of Indala now I feel like we need to upgrade the attack a bit more. But that's why I've gone out and got a new winger. It was either going to be a left or right winger. I'm happy with Stansfield. And I think Doak is just a bit better than Ndala at the moment. But that's why I've gone out and got a left winger. But those are the transfers for season seven. Obviously, we are so deep into this rebuild now. We need to try and climb the table. Otherwise, we're just going to keep staying where we are. Hopefully, these two new signings can help us do that. But this is how the team's going to look for season seven, guys. Fisher does come in in goal. Gustavo Nunes comes in at left wing. So the team is looking really good. Like I said a few seasons ago, this team 
team is obviously quite young, trying to build up the youngsters and bring them through the ranks. So this is going to take time for us before we do get to the top of the league and start winning some trophies. I have every faith in this team to stay up once again. Hopefully we can try and push up the table this season. I think with the additions of Nunez and Fisher, I think that it's going to help the squad a lot. But without further ado, we're just going to grind straight away into season seven and hopefully try and climb up that league table and hopefully challenge for something in the cup competitions as well. But without further ado, guys, let's dive in to season seven. Okay then, guys, we come to the end of season seven and as you can see, Birmingham have finished 12th in the Premier League. It's a massive improvement from the last couple of seasons in the Premier League where we've just been struggling, nearly getting relegated. But this season, we finished just shy of 50 points. And when you look at the league table, you can actually see all the way up to about eight and really not far away from people that are contesting for Europe. So massive improvement this season. And I really do think next season forward, we can start climbing into that top 10, hopefully getting ourselves a conference league spot. Chelsea were your winners this season, just shy of Man City in second. Liverpool and Newcastle make the top four. And then West Brom, Everton and Wolves all got relegated to the championship. So a really good improvement for Birmingham this season in the Premier League. Fortunately, guys, we got knocked out in the third round of the FA Cup against Swansea, 4-3 away from home. So that is another FA Cup where there's no run at all. We beat Rotherham in the second round of the Carabao Cup to go through to the third round. And we lost to Bournemouth 2-1 at home, which is annoying because, again, just no cup run again this season. Man United beat Leverkusen 1-0 to win the Champions League this season. Arsenal won the Europa League 2-1, so that is a double for the Premier League clubs. And FC 20 won 2-1 to win the Conference League this season. Jay Stansfield now 85 overall, 18 goals this season, 6 assists. And Dala 82 overall now, 16 goals, 7 assists. Nunez 82 overall as well, 9 goals, 2 assists in his first season with the club. Ben Doak 82 overall, so the, the wingers and the attackers are kind of really going up the ratings now. 8 goals for him this season. Tyler Moore in 85 overall now, turned into a really, really good player for us and he's contributed really well this season with 5 goals and 8 assists. Kellerman with 5 goals and 4 assists this season. And then a lot of players just, you know, chipping away and helping us where they can. But overall, I'm really happy with the improvement and we've finally climbed the table. We're nearly in that top 10. I think a couple more signings and then this squad is really going to start kicking on up that league table. I think a couple more signings and I think this squad is really going to kick on and climb up that league table. Without further ado, guys, we're going to go straight into season eight with this Birmingham team. Massive rebuild this is. It's going to be a good 12 seasons, I think. I'm really enjoying this rebuild because it's quite hard. It's been quite hard, I'll be honest with you. And I think that makes me enjoy it more. Without Without further ado guys let's dive in to season eight with Birmingham okay then guys the first signing of season eight is here and it's gonna be a new center attacking midfielder I feel like Kellerman needed an upgrade and I am gonna bring in someone from Bayern Munich Isaac Babadi has come in for 36.5 million pounds from Bayern Munich the Dutch center attacker mid is 26 years old 84 overall and he looks really really good good dribbling good pace 36.5 million pounds spent Kellerman will be the backup option for him but Babadi is the first play. Abadi is the first player that we're going to sign in season eight. We've still got quite a good bit of money left over. So I'm going to try and get at least one or two more players in in this window. We've also gone out and signed a new centre-back, guys, because I am an idiot. Unfortunately, Koulibaly has left the club because his contract expired and I forgot to renew it. He's gone to PSG. Obviously, he was probably our best centre-back. I just I completely forgot to renew his contract. I did everyone else's. I just must have missed his. So we have signed Kruger from Hamburg for £20 million. 23 years of age. 81 paces as a centre-back. And he's 80 overall. £20 million spent. So an absolutely insane deal. He will be going straight into that centre-back role to replace Koulibaly unfortunately i sold him i let him go on a free transfer because his contract expired that's my bad but kruger comes in to replace him like i said 23 years of age 80 overall really really good pickup we've got a new left back signing guys caleb wiley has joined us from Wolfsburg for 31.5 million pounds our left back that was here at the club wanted to leave he was transfer listed so i sold him and i replaced him with caleb wiley who i think looks like an absolutely insane player 88 pace 82 overall 26 years of age, approaching his prime years. I think he's going to be a really good addition for us. So £31.5 million spent for him. He'll be our starting left back for the season. So then, guys, as we go into season eight now, this is going to be your team. I'm really excited with the way this team is turning out. Fisher, 85. Morton, 86. Figoli, 
86 as well. Aberdeen, the new signing, 84. Stansfield's up to an 85. Oak, 82. And Gustavo Nunez, 83. The team is really starting to like go up in the ratings, which is good to see. And now we need to use that and improve on our table finish. I think after last season finishing 12th, I think we really got a good chance of finishing inside the top 10 this season. But without further ado, we are going to dive straight into season 8 now. And I'm really hoping we can try and get a... I'm really hoping we can try and get a top 10 finish this season. That team looks more than capable of doing it. Let's dive in to season eight with Birmingham. Wow, guys, we have come to the end of season eight and Birmingham have finished third in the Premier League. 61 points we finished on, joint with Aston Villa, but what an achievement that is. We have finally got our top 10 finish. It's taken us eight seasons, but we've actually managed to finish third in the Premier League. I can't believe it. I'm actually so buzzing right now. I knew this team was gelling and it was starting to build on the ratings, especially like Stansfield, for example, and Morton in the midfield. They were really improving over the past two seasons, obviously from the last season's finish in 12th but this is a massive jump up third in the Premier League Chelsea winning the league Arsenal in second but Birmingham City are third in the league 17 wins 10 draws 11 losses so happy with that that means we've got Champions League football next season we beat Bournemouth 2-1 in the Carabao Cup second round to go through to the third round we then beat Southampton 1-0 away from home in the third round and unfortunately we got knocked out by Bristol Rose in the fourth round of the Carabao Cup which is a Pretty disappointing considering they are a lower league team. Started off our FA Cup run with a 2-2 draw and a 3-2 win on penalties against Derby. We then beat Tottenham 2-1 in the fourth round, which is really nice to see. We beat Middlesbrough 2-0 in the fifth round of the FA Cup, which means we go into the quarterfinals now. And we beat Leeds United 2-1, so that puts us into the semi-finals of the FA Cup. And we beat Brighton 3-1 and we play Southampton in the final. And we beat Southampton 2-1, which means, guys, we have finally won our first trophy with this Birmingham City team. In season 8 has been so long and it's been a long time coming, but we've finally done it, guys. A top 3 finish in the league and an FA Cup trophy to match. What a season this has been, guys. Absolutely buzzing with that. 2-1 against Southampton. Our first trophy of this Birmingham City rebuild. Dortmund beat Real Madrid 1-0 in the Champions League final this season. Marseille won 4-3 on penalties after a 1-0 draw against Girona to win the Europa League. And Sevilla won 4-3 against Hoffenheim in the Conference League final. What a game that was. Gustavo Nunes, 25 goals from left wing this season. What an absolute insane return that is. Stansfield up to an 87 overall now. 21 goals, 5 assists for him. Babadi, the new signing, has already gone up to an 85 rated. 10 goals and 17 assists. What a signing he's been. Ben Doak still getting in on the goals. 6 goals, 2 assists. Morton's now up to an 87 overall. We're still getting four goals and five assists this season. And then a lot of uh, squad players just getting goals here and there. But I'm absolutely buzzing with this season. We've won our first trophy and we finish in the top three as well. So that means we have Champions League football next season. Obviously, we've still got to try and win the league as well. We've also got European football for the first time in this rebuild. So without further ado, we're going to dive straight into season nine now. And hopefully we can try and improve on this squad, even though it is coming together really well. Make a couple more players in here and then we can challenge for the league title. No problem so let's get in to season nine. Oh my god guys 179 million pounds is our transfer budget for season nine one absolutely insane transfer budget i really do think if i can use this money perfectly and correctly we can definitely challenge for that lead title this season i think we're only a couple of players away i think we could probably do with bringing in a more experienced center back because obviously we've all got the youngsters at the back who are low rated but we've got a lot of money here to utilize and i will be doing that in this season our first signing in season Season 9 is a new right back, guys, and it is none other than Rico Lewis. He has joined from Leicester City for £54.3 million. 27-year-old joins us, 85 overall, £54.3 million spent. Obviously, in real life, he's very, very good, highly talented player, and he comes in to solidify that defence at right back. The second signing for Season 9 is here, guys, and it is a new centre-back. Like I said, trying to improve this defence, and we have done that with the first two signings. Cabrassi comes in from Fulham for 70 million million pounds it's a lot of money for a center back i know i think it's an area where we need to improve on 25 years of age 70.5 million pounds he comes in and he'll be sitting alongside kruger most likely unless we decide to go out and get a new center back as well latest signing is a new center back so that is the end of the window guys a new center back and a new right back to come in as lewis comes in with Cabrassi. this team looks really really good kruger obviously the youngster ac overall is the only kind of weak point i would say but I think he's good enough to be in this squad. As you see some of these players now, they develop so well, especially Morton, Stansfield and Figoli as well. Really impressed with Doak and Nunes on the wings as well. This team, guys, I really think we can challenge for the league title this season in season nine. 
where we're going to head now, guys. So hopefully we can try and finish with that Premier League trophy this season. Obviously, we've already just won the FA Cup. It'd be nice to win the Carabao Cup as well. And we've also got the first taste of European football for Birmingham in this rebuild. Without further ado, guys, let's get into Season 9. So then, guys, we come to the end of Season 9. And as you can see, Birmingham City have finished third once again. Two seasons in a row, guys, we've finished third. So close to getting that top spot. Only a few points behind Chelsea and Liverpool. I'm really, really happy with this Birmingham City team. We are so close to being able to win the Premier League. I can just taste it. I can feel it. It's going to happen soon. I can definitely tell you that. We beat Chelsea 4-3 on penalties to win the Community Shield. Obviously, you can add that as a trophy if you want to. I guess some people say it's not, but it is classed as a trophy. So that is the second trophy of the rebuild. We beat Blackpool 2-1 in the FA Cup third round. We then lost to Chelsea 2-1 in the fourth round to get knocked out. We won't be progressing in the FA Cup this season, unfortunately. Arsenal beat us 4-3 on penalties after a 1-0 draw in the Carabao Cup third round. So that means we are out early doors in the Carabao Cup once again. Champions League time and Birmingham finished 20 first in the league phase which means we go into the playoff phase we beat Salzburg 3-0 on aggregate which means we do make it to the round of 16 in our first season in the Champions League and unfortunately guys Barcelona beat us 5-2 on aggregate after a 3-0 home win that means we crash out in the round of 16 so obviously we're still a fair fair bit away from being able to get into the latter stages of that tournament which is unfortunate but you know a couple more signings and I reckon we'll be right up there stats for the season here Jay Stansfield is 90 rated now 30 years of age in his prime years 37 goals 5 assists Nunes is already up to an 86 overall 22 goals 18 assists for the season Ben Doak's now up to an 87 overall with 16 goals and Dala up to an 85 with 6 goals probably off the bench for him Morton 89 really impressed with him still getting a lot of goals and assists Babadi 87 overall now 28 years of old 28 years of age coming up to his prime years happy with him as well we've got some really good players here guys and i really think after adding a couple more players i think we need a new center back and a new midfielder to play alongside morton we will have a really really good team and a good chance of trying to win the premier league trophy so we're gonna head into the 10th season with birmingham now this has been an absolutely insane rebuild i'm absolutely buzzing with how it's turned out so far we've got a couple more jobs to do we need to win the league and also the champions league as well so let's dive into season 10 we have made a massive signing in season 10 guys it's going to be a new central midfielder and he is joining from the syria nolan petit is coming in for 109 million pounds that is actually a transfer record for birmingham city in this rebuild 88 overall 22 years of age he is going to be absolutely insane for us 90 pace as a central midfielder 109 million pounds spent which i think is a really good deal He's going to come in to play centre mid with Tyler Morton for the season. We have also gone out and got ourselves a new left-sided centre back. I decided to I decided to go out and get a new left-sided centre back because I think we just need to improve on what we've already got and we need some more backup options as well. So Fontana comes in for 30.8 million pounds from Mainz. 22 years of age, 81 overall. Really happy with this signing. He's going to be playing, like I said, on the left-hand side of the centre backs. 30.8 million pounds spent. Really happy with that. So he is the latest signing. And probably the last signing for season 10. Because as you can see guys, this team has turned into an absolutely insane team. Petit comes in and Fontana comes in as well. Petit comes in and so does Fontana. Petit comes in and so does Fontana as well at the back. The team is looking absolutely insane now. Really happy with this. Jay Stansfield up to a 91 overall. Ben Doak to an 87. Nunes 86. More than 89. Really happy with the way this team has turned out. I think with the new additions in midfield and defence, I think we could really push on and try and finally win that league title this season. We've also got Champions League football to try and win as well. Also haven't won the Carabao Cup, so that would be nice to win that as well. But without further ado, guys, we're going to dive straight into Season 10 with Birmingham and hopefully try and win some more trophies. Season 10 is over, guys. And once again, Birmingham City, for the third season in a row have finished third in the Premier League. 10 points behind Chelsea who won the league so we're nearly there again we just fall short once again which is unfortunate but again third place finish for Birmingham we are so close guys only 10 points in it the last season was a bit closer but I mean I think we just need a couple more signings to make the squad overall a bit better and then we will be up there in that first position beat Burnley 5-3 in the third round of the FA Cup we then beat Portsmouth 4-2 in the fourth round and we absolutely smashed Huddersfield 6-1 at home in the fifth round of the FA Cup to going to the quarterfinals we beat brighton or two on penalties after a one-all draw we beat brentford 2-1 in the semi-finals and we play aston villa which is a massive derby in the 
the final. We beat them 3-2. So that is the second FA Cup trophy we have won in this Birmingham rebuild. The third trophy of the whole rebuild. You love beating your rivals in the final as well. We beat Aston Villa 3-2. What an absolutely great result that is. Man United knocked us out in the third round of the Carabao Cup on penalties after a one-all draw. So that means we are not getting the Carabao Cup once again. Champions League, we finish in the 18th position. So that means we are going to be that means we're going through the playoff phase once again, which we did beat Roma 2-1 across the two legs, which means we do make the round of 16 for the second season running. And unfortunately, guys, we got knocked out in the playoff phase against Roma 2-1, so we don't progress into the knockout stage of the Champions League this season, which is a bit disappointing, but again, just not our year in terms of the Champions League. Napoli ended up winning the whole competition after beating Dortmund 1-0. Nice beat Juventus 3-2 to lift the Europa League trophy. And Shakhtar Donetsk beat Hibernian 2-1 to win win the conference league this season we go through the stats for the season 27 goals for Indala, 25 for jay stansfield who's 93 overall now 20 for ben doke 10 goals and 24 assists for babadee really really happy with this signing morton nine goals 11 assists age 31 now 91 overall our captain hopefully he's got another year in him to hopefully try and win that premier league with us and a whole load of players getting goals here and there so guys we just fell short in the league but i think next season we can really try and push i think finishing third three years in a row is kind of annoying but it just shows that our team is good enough to be finishing in the top three of the premier league so hopefully this season we can try and finally win that hopefully try and get ourselves a champions league trophy as well so we're going to go into season 11 now with birmingham this rebuild is taking ages but i'm having a lot of fun doing it so i'm not complaining at all without further ado let's get into season 11 we've made a massive swap deal guys to start season 11 Nunes has gone to Man City and we have brought in Abru from Manchester City, the new left winger at Birmingham City. David Abru, 60 million plus Nunes from Man City. 90 overall, 28 years of age. Him and Ben Doak on the wings are going to be absolutely insane. Playing the ball into Jay Sansfield, who's 93 overall. That front three is going to be absolutely incredible for us, guys. I am so happy with this signing. Because we swapped Nunes... We actually only had to pay 60 million, which is an absolute steal. That's the first signing of season 11. We've also gone out and got a new left center back. I think the guy that we, Montana, we, who we signed just isn't good enough for us. But I've gone out and got someone who's a bit better than him. Jules Diara from Man City for 60 million pounds. 85 overall, he comes in. He will replace Montana. I think he's going to be a much better player and he will fit straight into that line. So then guys, this will be your team for season 11. Diara comes in at left centre back and Abru comes in at left wing. This team is absolutely stacked now. The ratings on these players is just insane. I really do think this is our chance to finally win the Premier League with Birmingham. Obviously, we've still got Jay Stansfield from the start. Age 31 now, 93 overall. Hopefully, he can lead us to glory. Obviously, he's been here since the very first season. 11 seasons with us. Absolutely buzzing with that. Without further ado, guys, let's get straight into season 11 with Birmingham. So then guys, in season 11, we have finally won the Premier League with Birmingham. We finished on 80 points. We finally beat Chelsea to that league title. There's been a lot of third place finishes in the past three seasons. But Birmingham City have finally won the Premier League in this rebuild. So that adds to our trophy collection. We have ticked off the FA Cup. We won the League One title. We won the playoff final. We won the league, uh, the EFL trophy in the first season. And we won a couple of FA Cups. And now we can finally say we have won the Premier League title. Unfortunately, Chelsea did beat us 2-1 in the Community Shield. We beat Brentford 4-3 on penalties after a one all draw in the FA Cup third round we then beat newcastle at home to progress into the fifth round of the fa cup and then we beat portsmouth away 2-0 to get to the quarterfinals and we smash leads 3-1 at home and unfortunately guys chelsea did beat us 1-0 in the final and unfortunately guys chelsea did beat us 1-0 in the semi-final and they actually went on to win the whole thing against man city 1-0 unfortunately guys carabao cup we got knocked out in the third round 3-1 against newcastle and then spurs ended up being fulham 3-1 to win at the carabao cup this season union sg won the Europa League Conference 1-0 against Rangers. Bologna beat Lyon 1-0 to win the Europa League this season. And the Champions League, Birmingham City smashed the league phase. We finished first on 20 points. We didn't lose a single game in the league phase, which means we do go straight into the round of 16. And we beat Bayern Munich 3-2 on aggregate after a 2-0 home leg. We beat Bayern Munich 3-2 after a 2-0 home leg in the second leg to go into the quarterfinals of the Champions League. So that is actually the first time we've made it to the quarterfinals of 
this rebuild. We then went on to win against Inter Milan 4-2. Four nil winners in the second leg, which clutched up to get into the semi-finals of the Champions League. We've only gone and done it, guys. We beat Leipzig 5-3 on aggregate after a 4-2 home victory. And we will be playing Juventus in the Champions League final in May of 2035. Season 11, we have finally made it to the Champions League final. Look at the return for Jay Stansfield. 46 goals, 8 goals, 46 goals for Jay Stansfield this season. 92 overall. He's absolutely smashed it this season. Ben Doak with 31 goals. He's turned into an absolutely insane player. A brew as well. 90 overall. 17 goals, 14 assists. Babadi, he's actually been one of the my most favourite signings I've actually had in this rebuild. 15 goals and 21 assists from central attack midfield. And then a lot of other players just getting in on the goals. But here you have it, guys. The Champions League lineup is here. Fisher in goal. Lewis, Cabrassi, Diara, Caleb Wiley at left back. Morton Petit in the middle. Babadi in behind Stansfield. And we have a brew and Doak on the wings i think because of obviously we're in season 11 i think this team is the best team i've had in any of my rebuilds so far look at some of these ratings we have one more job to do guys we need to win the champions league and we're facing juventus in season 11 we finally made it to the champions league final the last trophy that we want to get in this rebuild of Birmingham. It's been a long video and I've really, really enjoyed this rebuild of Birmingham. But we need to go out there and try and win one more trophy. I'm going to dive into the Champions League final against Juventus right now. Can he find the ball to Stansfield? That's a cracking pass through the middle. Going to wait for someone to make a run. Ben Doak has made that run. Squares it back to Stansfield. Can he get the shot away? Stansfield. Oh, it's saved by Coleman and goal. Birmingham do have a corner now. Morton over the ball. You know, whip this one into the middle and it's oh it's just not there but the keeper i don't know what he's doing there bit of a blunder there morton can have another go a bit deeper this time into the goal oh and what a header that is from Krabrassi. Krabrassi gets the goal to put us one nil up inside 10 minutes of this champions league final what a cross this is from morton here as you see he's whipped it very deep into the box and Krabrassi, i mean what a header this is by the way as you can see, right into that top corner. The keeper's never going to get there. And Birmingham City lead Juventus 1-0 in the Champions League final. A great ball from Abru. Stansfield's through on goal. It's Jay Stansfield. Can he get the goal? Oh, and he's put it wide. How's he missed that? Oh, my God. That is a terrible miss. Abadi plays it out wide to Abru. He's going to play the line to Stansfield. He cuts inside. He gets the shot away. And it's over the bar. And here come Juventus now. Ball's played through. Vlahovic! Oh, and he scored. Vlahovic has got the equaliser inside 31 minutes. Oh, my God. What is that defending from Birmingham City there? Ball was played through too easily there. I think that's Cabrassi. Just not goal side. And Lewis can't get in. Lewis just can't get close to Vlahovic. And he slots it into the back of the net. It's now 1-1 in the Champions League final. Aberdeen out. Can play down to Abru. He finds Stansfield. Can he get the shot away? Stansfield! And it's 2-1 to Birmingham City. Stansfield with the goal. An instant impact from that equaliser. Birmingham City have shot back straight away. Babadi to a brew, a brew to Stansfield. And he smashes that into the near post, into the top corner. To make it 2-1 to Birmingham City into this Champions League final. Stansfield's now on the ball. Got a lot of time and space. I'm going to square this to Lewis. Lewis from right back. Rico Lewis. Oh, what a goal from Rico Lewis at right back. He started that by winning the ball back in our own half. And Stansfield slotted him in. As you can see, the POV of Lewis here. Straight across the goal. And the keeper's never getting that. It's now 3-1 to Birmingham. I'm going to play in Morton. Morton, can he get the shot away? The captain. Oh, it's at the crossbar. And Morton again. Morton on the rebound. It's 4-1 to Birmingham. We are absolutely battering Juventus right now. Tyler Morton, one of the first signings we ever made in this Birmingham City rebuild. The captain, he's been here for literally 10 seasons. And he gets the goal to surely kill off this final and get that all-important Champions League trophy for Birmingham City. What a volley that was. From Tyler Morton. And we get another shot away. Oh, and it's another goal. Petit, what a finish that was. This team is absolutely insane. I didn't really think he was going to get a chance to shoot. That's why I wasn't really saying anything. But he's just absolutely pinged one into the top corner. And that is 5-1 now. Birmingham, this game is surely over. It's going to be a consolation goal, if anything, for Juventus. Balls whipped in. 
Babadi can't clear. The ball has gone out and we have won the Champions League final with Birmingham. Absolutely smashed Juventus 5-1 to win the Champions League final. It took us 11 seasons to get here and it was very much worth it. Look at that result there. Cabrassi, Stansfield who's been here from the very first season. Lewis, Morton who's been here since the, tenth se uh, the second season. Sorry, Absolutely insane. This has been one of the best teams I've rebuilt so far in SC25 because of the ratings on these players, which is absolutely incredible. So there we have it, guys. Birmingham City are the Champions League final and Champions League winners in season 11. What a rebuild this has been. We've won the Premier League, the FA Cup, the League One title, EFL Trophy, FA Cup Community Shield, and now the Champions League with Birmingham. This will be the end of the video. It's been a very long one, but I've very much enjoyed this rebuild. I hope you guys did as well. Make sure to leave a like, comment any teams you want me to rebuild, and subscribe if you're new around here. I really appreciate the support on the channel so far in SC25. Once again, thank you for this video. Really hope you guys enjoyed this one, because I absolutely love rebuilding Birmingham. So much fun to do. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.